Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome, which is www.moto-drome.com. Today we're going to have a look around this uh, 2004 and a 54 plate Land Rover Defender 90 TD5 Genuine Factory Station Wagon. Two owners from you, including the Crown Estate in Windsor up until 2016. So, uh, 54 plate, 2004. Um, owned by the Crown Estate in Windsor from new up until 2016. So you know it's been uh, serviced within an inch of its life while it's been with them. Uh, and only one other owner subsequently, so two owners in total. Um, and the bills since 2016 are quite extensive as well. Um, no dents on it, so suspect whilst it's um, been owned by the, uh, the Crown Estate, maybe not been driven by Prince Philip. Um, but at least you have got a dog guard in the back to uh, keep the corgis under control, if that's what it's done. Um, also fit it, and it is a genuine station wagon, not a conversion from a van, um, base model station wagon. Um, it's also got light guard, front light guards on it, uh, LED side lights and indicators, and rear lights, not headlights though. It's got security bonnet hinges. It's also got an armoured steering um, armed ignition ignition lock uh, also fitted with heavy duty half shafts all round front and back um, and a matching set of bfg all-terrain tas on it side steps checker plate on the modesty covers and the wing tops mud flaps all round it's got the rear step which is bolted to the um, toe pack which is ball and pintle it's also got a uh, presume it's done some form of special towing but it's got these big lugs that have been bolted onto the rear cross member both sides um, presumed it's something to do with what it's been towing I don't know uh, inside apart from the dog guard it's got center obman's tray it's also got um, radio CD with uh, USB port and in the back it's got the correct for a station wagon not a county station wagon it's got the twin rear bench seats with seat belts in the back there. Right, let's take a look around it body wise. As I say, really, really dent free. Now this is done 183,000 miles according to the odometer, um, but you wouldn't know it in fairness. Um, not just in the way it drives, but uh, in the way it looks. Um, going around the front end, front bumper has been repainted at some point. Looks like fairly recently in gloss black. Number plate. It's got a bit of a chunk out of it there. Looks like it's got the original plates on it from the Royal Ascot garage. Um, the light covers have lost a bit of their um, powder coating on both sides. Bonnet, has got a few stone chips around the top end, um, around the front end, and a few scr scratches on it here and there, but not really very much. See, I, I would say for its age and mileage, it's actually in really rather good condition. Looking down the near side, looks pretty straight down there. Let's have a look inside the near side front arch for you. Have a look at the A-post. Scuttle corner, a little bit of lacquer loss just there on the scuttle corner and a bit of bubbling under the paint on the screen block. Um, windscreen seal has seen better days it's also had the um, windscreen washers moved to the center of the bonnet here don't know why apart from that old bit there has been broken off but um, they're not difficult to replace but they do work really well um, repositioned probably better than they would have done originally uh, roof is all is all good um, near side door it's all in good shape it's the earlier type door, so we will check the frame on it. Frame actually feels reasonably good under there. Perhaps a little bit of corrosion at the front end, but nothing horrendous. Um, inside here, the passenger seat base is a little bit worn, lost a bit of its shape here, and uh, there are a few nicks in the passenger seat base. It's matted throughout. Headlining is all in good order and hasn't really bowed much at all. Possibly helped with the dog guard. Um, centre augments tray has got a funny red mark on it just there and the centre dash panel on this side has lost a couple of its switch blank covers 
um, you can get them. As I say, it's got armoured um, ignition lock as well. Uh, but yeah, headlining's in good shape. Um, near side rear wing, all good. So look under here. Around the tail end, a bit of um, corrosion just coming up on the tub top trim there. And what those, I think it must have had rear light guards on it at some point. They've been cut off because there's still the screws in there. Um, looking in the back, rear door card is a bit marked as it always is, but uh, rear seats have got one or two minor marks on them, but nothing horrendous. Rear door is the later type, so it doesn't doesn't have um, the later type don't rot at the bottom. Um, looking down the offside, it would help if I close that door properly. Uh, looking down the offside, again offside rear wing, all very good. And up there, and underneath here. Driver's door has got a fair bit of electro electrolytic reaction under the paint on the bottom edge there, and obviously a big bit of paint's come off there and been touched in on the base of the door. We'll come back to that. Uh, a post, scuffle corner. Offside front wing. And again, let's have a look underneath here. Go back to inside, have a look at that door frame. Bit of surface rust on the door frame base, but no more than that. And again, driver's seat has lost a little bit of its shape on the outer edge here. Probably only to be expected given the mileage. Um, wear hole in the mat on the driver's footwell, but otherwise, all, uh, all pretty good. I, I like this. It's a, it's honest. If you know what I mean. So, I think there we have it. My name is Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118907 or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com, for any more information. End.